everyone! Today we are going to learn all about transforming quadratics. Or as some people like to call them, parabolas. This is graphing form for a quadratic. To explore amplitude, I have three things graphed over here. I have the parent graph, y equals x squared. I have y equals ax squared because we want to explore the parameter a, and I have this slider here. The slider is starting at a equals 1 because it just has a stretch factor of 1. Let's explore what happens when I change this. When a is greater than 1, I see a vertical stretch. Think about our rubber band here. You're stretching it. It's becoming skinnier. Now let's explore when a is between 0 and 1. So let's do things like 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 or 0.1. You'll notice that there is a vertical compression of the graph. Think like you're stomping down on this thing. The last thing we can explore when it comes to A is what happens if A is negative? What if A is less than zero? So if I put a negative one, the stretch factor is the same as the parent, but it flips over the graph. Upside down. So stretch factor remains the same, but the A value, if it's negative, it's flipped over the x-axis. Now we're going to explore the parameter h. Notice that when h is 0, it looks exactly like the parent graph. But as I press play and h is greater than 0, it moves to the right. And when h is less than 0, it's moving to the left. The last parameter we'll explore is k, the up and down movement of the graph. Right now, k is at 0, so it looks like the parent graph, y equals x squared. But watch as I press play. When k is greater than 0, it goes up. And when k is less than 0, it goes down. Before we can start transforming quadratics, we need to understand the parent. So I'm going to first graph y equals x squared. I'm going to plug in a couple points and plot them. So negative 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to go back negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Plugging in a negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So back negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're starting to see that symmetry in case you didn't notice that already. So 3 squared is 9. I'm going to try to do my best job to draw a nice curve through this. And this right here is y equals x squared. And we just need to notice some important features. We have a vertex value here at 0, 0. In graphing form, we're going to move this around. So would we have y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, it's important to note that h, k, that's our vertex. And so we're going to be moving this point around. OK? So let's go and try some other examples. The first parameter change we're going to work with is a. So I'm going to graph y equals 2x squared using some graphing shortcuts. Now, if we think back to graphing form, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And what I said previously, hk was the vertex. We can see that there's no h or no k present, which means the vertex is just going to stay at 0, 0. So all we need to do is work with the, that vertical stretch we were talking about earlier. So I'm going to plot 0, 0 as the vertex. Now normally I take 1 and I square it and get 1. But now I'm going to go 1 and I'm going to multiply that value by 2 because I have a vertical stretch factor of 2. 
So I'm going to go over 1, up 2. Now I'm going to do 2. Normally 2 squared is 4, but I'm going to double that 4. So 4 times 2, because that's our stretch factor, is 8. So I'm going to go over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I know there's symmetry with the quadratic, so I'm going to go back, negative 1, up 2, and I'm going to go back to negative 2, all the way up to 8. And so we can see a vertical stretch of the graph here. Now I'm going to explore how to graph a horizontal shift. So let's work with the equation y equals the quantity x minus 4 squared. Again, let's go back to graphing form. y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And notice that the only parameter change I see here is an h. And h, k is our vertex. So 4 is going to be our h value. And since there's no k value present, it's just going to be 0. So my vertex moves from 0, 0 to 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now these points just stay the same. I'm treating this as 0, 0. So 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 1, 2, 3, 4. And 3 squared, and I'm always going from the vertex, treating this as 0, 0. 3 squared is 9. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then if I go back 1 from the vertex, that negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 squared is 4. And back 3 from the vertex is 9. Draw a smooth curve. we see a horizontal shift to the right for units. Let's work with the equation y equals x squared plus 3. This is in that k spot. If we look at graphing form, and I know I'm coming here a lot, it's really important. y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So vertex point, h, k, there's no h value. There's nothing in parentheses around this x. So the h value is 0 for the vertex, but the k value is 3. And so this means that my vertex moves up 3 points from 0, 0 to 0, 3. So let's go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to treat this as if it's 0, 0. And I normally go over 1 and square that. So 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's just follow that symmetry and draw a smooth curve. So this is a vertical shift. Has anyone ever told you that you can do hard things? You can do hard things. So let's change all three parameters. Again, I have graphing form present for us. Let's identify the vertex first. The vertex is hk. And so my h value, ooh, that's a plus. So I need to make sure that I've recognized that the h value is negative 1. The k value here is 5. So let's go ahead and plot that vertex, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if I look to the a value, what I see here is a negative and a vertical compression. So negative meaning I'm going to take this parabola and flip it over. And then that one half compresses everything. So all of those y values are going to be cut in half. So normally I go over one from the vertex and go up one. But this time I'm going to go over one, down one, and half it. Now normally I go over two and square that to get four. So this time I'm going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and half it to that vertex line. So that's going to be 2. So notice I'm 2 away from the vertex point. Let's do one more. I'm going to go 3 over from the vertex, and normally 3 squared is 9, 
but I'm going to half that value and flip it over. So half of 9 is 4.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4.5. I know that there's symmetry along the x value for the vertex, so I'm just going to copy these points. So I'm going to go back one, down a half, back two, down two, back three, down four and a half. And again, draw a nice smooth curve. I hope today helped you out with graphing and transforming parabolas.